Hey guys, I'm back again. So uh, today it's time to have a look at a uh, Android 5.1 build for the Note 3, uh, brought to you by the excellent guys at uh, CM uh, or CyanogenMod, Mod, shall we say? Uh, this is the uh, CM 12.1 ROM uh, for the Note 3, and uh, I have to say it's a very nice uh, ROM that you should definitely check out here. Uh, and as you can see, it's uh, based upon a uh, very stock, clean build of Android here. Uh, and uh, we do get uh, the additions of the uh, Android 5.1, such as your ability to quickly change the uh, connections up there, which is quite nice. Uh, and uh, if we look into the settings here, uh, we have uh, quite a similar settings panel here to uh, the uh, ROM for the Note 2 uh, which uh, gives you the ability to change uh, like uh, different uh, things here such as a scroll effect uh, as well as the, the icons which I do like to have on large if I'm to be honest uh, and uh, if we uh, go back here we can see everything's on big now uh, and uh, it does look a lot better to me uh, we can see we have uh, multi-user support here so we can see if we go into that if we see any crashes or anything so it does seem to do that very quickly which is nice and uh, you can see a bit of lag there but uh, it does sort itself out which is nice and we can go back to me And uh, we can see that uh, we have uh, quite a nice uh, array of uh, other stuff on the device that are brought with the actual ROM. Uh, you do have to flash on the uh, Google app separately uh, as a separate package. It is quite lean. But if we look at some of these uh, kind of inbuilt apps, you can see that they all look very clean and conform to what you would expect now from... Uh, lollipop which is nice uh, and uh, in terms of the S Pen uh, again you are going to lose some functionality here such as your smart circle unfortunately but uh, it is uh, working as you can see so you can still use it with some third party apps to your heart's content uh, and uh, we do like the S Pen on the Note series so uh, I definitely recommend you do check some uh, apps out there on the Play Store. Uh, in terms of the speed and fluid fluidity, it seems to be quite uh, stable, this ROM. As you can see, going into stuff uh, is nice and buttery here. And uh, we do like to see that here. Almost makes you question what's the point in buying like a high-end device when you can flash on this type of ROM on an older device and get equivalent performance boggles the mind really but uh, we do get some of uh, these apps that come on with it as well such as this music player app which is quite basic if you ask me as well as ability to put on different themes so you can get some more here from uh, I guess the Play Store So you can install them and then put them onto your heart's content, which is quite nice. Don't want to obviously lose the camera facility on your phone, so you can just go to the camera here. The stills it seems to be taking stills quite well, which is quite nice. Uh, and uh, we can try the video recording on the 4K. See if we do get 4K. I'm not sure. Go into the settings here. So we see we get uh, 4K there, which is quite nice. Do de do do de do do de do. Do de do do de do. So very nice there, except for my singing, obviously. 
Uh, it does seem to be working, so uh, you don't have to worry about that. Uh, in the settings, we get some additional options here. So if we go to the top, we can see that we can get uh, a uh, different uh, settings here, like live display, uh, which I think uh, kind of uh, optimizes the display based upon whether it's night or day, as well as it reduces your power consumption, which is obviously going to be good for battery life, uh, and uh, some other settings here. Double tap to sleep again, which is quite nice. But then again, no double tap to wait, which seems a bit weird. Uh, if we just have a look at some of the other settings here, notification manager, uh, you can. I think that comes on to all Lollipop devices, so not much difference there. System profiles again to control whether you are driving or if you want it just to be silent, which is quite nice and uh, performance I do see down there so if we can go into that so it's uh, apparently optimizes the performance based upon the app you're in so that could help with battery life as well as the speed I guess which is quite nice uh, and uh, buttons here so uh, quite a few settings there to play around with which I'm sure that you will enjoy and uh, I certainly do enjoy ROMs for this device because it's still an awesome trinket, this one. And, uh, you know, they, they are coming down in price now. We have the S6 coming out, which is nice. So uh, I do certainly enjoy this. You also get your updates here, so you don't have to manually flash them on, I'm guessing. So, uh that's quite nice. Maybe you do have to flash them on manually. Maybe they just go into a folder. I've not really uh, done it yet. It does, does seem to be quite a recent version of this ROM. So, uh, you know, I think uh, this is definitely something you should definitely check out here. Uh, I think it makes for a very nice experience on the uh, Note 3. Uh, and uh, if you want to be running the latest software, then why not? So uh, yeah, uh, just a quick little video here looking at the uh, Android 5.1 uh, CM 12.1 ROM for the Note 3. I uh, hope you did find it informative and I will see you very shortly. Cheers.